I was a nerd when I was growing up. Uh, I mean, and, and not a, you know, now if you're a nerd, uh, you, you're worth a billion dollars because you've created a, a social platform for, <laughs> right. for cats dancing in costumes. Um, but I was a nerd when you're I funny. when it when it meant something. I was a Leave It to Beaver kind of nerd. Probably a reference you may not get, but it was of my oh, generation. We'll it. it was yeah, the old. <laughs> well, I said I said that once in a presentation, and this girl came up to me. And, uh, you know, she's in her late teens or early twenties, and she said, "Mr. Deaver, Justin Bieber is not a nerd." Um, <laughs> oh, no. so, so I, I had to, I, I had to explain it was something else, but but I was a nerd, and uh, but I, I, I had, um, I, and you know I was uniformly ignored by the cheerleaders and pom pom girls, and I, uh, you know, on the of the sports teams in gym class when we divide up, the um, the captains of each team would kind of plot like chess grandmasters to make sure I ended up on the other guy's team. Yep. I was so bad, but you know none of that mattered because I had something I thought was more important. I had the Glen Ellen. Illinois Public Library. And that's where I would spend all my time. Um, and I, um, uh, you know, after school and on, on the weekends. And I, I, I just learned that books were so, so important. They would teach you things you did not know, pre-internet days, of course, things you would have no way of knowing in a small uh, Midwestern town, but you could be exposed to um, the, uh, the wide world out there and they, they took you away from your, your daily cares. You know, you would get lost in a book and forget the fact that the cheerleaders and pom-pom girls ignored you. You could get, get into the uh, story, but they did something else that I, I found and I thought was so very important. Um, I don't know if any of you were ever the new kid in the schoolyard uh, or maybe oh, yeah. you were in the schoolyard and you saw a new kid there. And you know, children are generally uh, excruciatingly shy and uh, they would be looking down and feeling lonely. But then they would notice somebody across the schoolyard who was holding a copy of uh, maybe Little House on the Prairie yeah. or The Hobbit. And you could walk up to them and say, uh, you know, you didn't make eye contact, but, you know, you, <laughs> you, you, hey, you get to the dragon part there. What, what was that? Uh, did you just read that thing about Paw? And suddenly, even though you didn't know that person, yes, you did know them. You bonded. And you made friends because of books. And uh, I knew then that I wanted to be uh, a, a full-time full -time author. And I, I started writing at a very early age. It was, you know, just uh, not, not, not any good, but it, it, it didn't matter. I knew I would move in the direction of writing, uh, uh, writing stories and uh, telling stories because they were such an important part of my, my early life. 